Hello and welcome to another step-by-step -step how to tie tutorial video. This is the Patriot Streamer. This is a variation of the Patriot Dry Fly tied up streamer style. This is on a size 10 streamer hook. It's a 4X long. Number 7029R. I do not know the brand name of that. I am using a red waxed thread. For the tail and for the outer wing and the beard, I am using a kind of a brown hackle. The under wing, the main wing, is white bucktail. And the tag and the body is a single strand of blue flashaboo. I also added a small little collar in there. And that is red angel hair. We'll go ahead and get this one off and get a blank hook in. And like all good flies, they begin but with just a single wrap of thread. We'll add a few more there, get that locked in nice and tight. Take your thread all the way to the bend. And we'll tie in our tail, which like I said is four hackle feathers. We're after the tips. So we're just gonna go ahead and line up the tips. I do not have these uh, oriented in any particular direction. But we'll tie those in maybe about a half a hook's length for the tail. I don't want to go too big on that. A couple tight locking wraps. And we will secure that the rest of the way in. I like to just run my thread forward. Lay everything down. This way we can end up with somewhat of a uniform uh, Body. Now do not throw those extra hackle fibers away quite yet. You're going to use those for the outer wing and for the beard. I'll go ahead and cover the rest of the shank of the hook up. We'll build up a slight base there. And we will tie in our blue Flash a boo. All the way to the tail. And on the return trip with the thread, I'm going to do almost touching wraps, if not touching wraps, and I'm going to build a small base for that blue flash boo to lay down flat on. And then I'll do a couple big wraps to get my thread out of the way. Now we're going to do slightly over wrapping turns. Get this tag end started. A wider piece of flashaboo would really be ideal, but we tie with what we have. And one piece will make it here on this fly. Takes a little bit of time, but it's worth it. I think the end result is just spectacular. I think this blue really pops. Some other options are uh, some pearl essence, some opal. Give it a blue shimmer. All right, so I'm going to hold my flash of boot up. I'm going to do a few of those wraps backwards. Get my thread to where I started. And a couple locking wraps. I'm going to take my thread to where I want my red portion to end and I'm going to lock down the blue. Now I get to fight that the rest of the fly. But I'm going to build up a solid red portion of body here. 
and work my thread back and forth a little bit to maintain a consistent body size. Come over here and check, make sure I'm getting good coverage on all sides. Sometimes you just have to do a couple slower wraps just to get it right where you want it. I see one little spot and it's going to bother me if I know it's there. So there it is. All right, lift our flashaboo back. And we'll continue on with nice, tight, touching wraps, building a solid base for that blue flashaboo to cover. Really helps maintain um, an even appearance. And we will continue forward with the blue. Slightly overlapping, once again, nice and tight to the body. I like using just my fingers for this application. I feel that I get a better tension palmered on palmering on the material in this fashion, opposed to using a hackle pliers. I like the feeling of it slipping through my fingers as I apply it. Excellent. All right, trim off your scrap. We're going to take just a little touch, just the smallest little touch of this red angel hair. Get a nice tight dubbing noodle. And we're just going to work this back and forward just a little bit, just making a small little bump. Now for the beard, those hackle fibers that we uh, trimmed off for earlier, this is where they're going to get used. So line up the tips and strip. I'm going to set that down. I'm going to do it to the other side. And get a few more. I want this beard to be nice and thick. Nice thick beard. Okay, line that up with the tip of the hook on the bottom side. A couple tight locking wraps. And we will trim off our extra. That'll do it right there. Okay, I pre-cut my bucktail. I put it in my stacker. I'll stack this up a little bit. And take the lined up tips. And we're going to take this first portion of the wing just a little bit past the bend, about halfway through the tail. What I like to do is just trim off all the stuff I'm not going to use right away. Nice tight locking wraps will hold this down. And I like to throw a couple wraps underneath just to help pop that wing up just a little bit. Beautiful. All right, and for the outer wing, one last little batch of hackle fibers. Line up those tips, strip that off, nice quick pull. And we're gonna line this on the top side, same length as the beard. Your mat kind of 
brings the whole thing together, I think. On the dry fly, you have the hackle before and after the calf tail that's tied in. So why not have a little bit on either side of the white bucktail. I'm going to build up a solid head up here on the front. Get everything locked in nice and tight. And that'll do it. We'll do a quick whip finish. One, two, three. And trim off your excess thread. And for a head on here, I am going to use some uh, UV clear thin. I just like the way how it encases the head. And it does it so fast, just a little bit. Goes a long way with this. We're going to spread that around just a little bit, just get it all over. Make sure we get some on the bottom side. Give us a nice even shaped head on here. And I have a little bit of residual in the eye of my hook. And before I zap it, I'm going to clean that out. And hit it once with the UV light. And there you have it, folks. That is what I am calling the Patriot Streamer, modeled after the Patriot Dry Fly. Hope you enjoyed. Thank you for joining in. Happy tying and tight lines.